So we wanted to give you some more perspective on what to expect during the address and of course why it's important. So we're joined by political consultant Stan Barnes. Stan, thank you so much for coming in Good tonight. Good to be here. Good to be here. Let's start with education. That at least appears to be a top priority for lawmakers and of course the community. Uh, we're at the end of the governor's 20 by 2020 proposal. Will we actually see additional funding for education? And if so, where could those funds come from? Yeah, the, the good news is where the money comes from has already been answered. Arizona has plenty of money. Yes. We don't get to say that very often. Yeah, that's But the, there's a big budget surplus, mm -hmm. and uh, most legislators and this governor don't want to spend it in a kind of perpetuity. They want to spend it on one-time things. Mm -hmm. And so in addition to the governor's pay raise, the 20% uh, 20 by 2020, right. the, I, I look for some one-time expenditures on school facilities. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about new schools, or fixing schools that need fixing. Those kind of monies can be spent. That 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 uh, work can go on, but then it doesn't happen again a year and a year later if the economy shrinks up. Now, do you think that will appease some of those education groups who might be looking more toward teacher raises, helping to close the teacher shortage? How do you think that'll go over with those groups? Yeah, the, the politics of, of education funding never calmed down. Mm -hmm. I was a freshman legislator 31 years ago, yeah. and it's the same dynamic. Mm -hmm. uh, those who uh, think the uh, K-12 public school system need more money always think it needs more money. Right. And, and the Republicans who have been running the place generally are trying to fund it as responsibly in, uh, as possible with, in context of other things mm -hmm. that need to be funded, prisons, roads, you name it. Right. So I, I don't know that we'll ever get peace in our time when it comes mm -hmm. to education funding, but I do think we're going to get more funding. And if the governor were sitting there, he'd tell you there's been more funding for public schools in the last few years mm -hmm. during his administration than there has in many administrations prior. There's been a lot of new money mm -hmm. put in schools, but it doesn't satisfy everyone. Let's talk about some of the other issues. We listed some of the top priorities that the governor's already mentioned, that lawmakers have mentioned from security to affordable health care. What do you see besides education being really the top priority issue or issues this session? I think they're going to tackle things that are kind of small and trivial but important, like vaping, for instance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I've heard a lot about that. Yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, epidemic about that in, in the news. I think they're going to do things about that. I, there's going to be things that are boring but important, mm -hmm. like water issues. Mm -hmm. um, those are not the kind of things you win re-election on, but they are the kind of things that impact growth and sustainability and et cetera. So I think I look for it to be a, a relatively difficult session. Mm -hmm. And it's been difficult in sure. recent years, but I think it's gonna be even more difficult. And there's an important point. Uh, Democrats have been in the minority in the Arizona legislature for 50 years in yeah. the House. They think they're going to be in the majority mm -hmm. in the next election. That has a way of laying like a big wet blanket over sure. the top of the uh, action at the Arizona legislature. There won't be, I don't think, a lot of cooperation on the big issues because the, the paralysis uh, about the 2020 election is already set in. Everyone's anticipating a big 2020 election, the possibility mm -hmm. of Democrats controlling Arizona legislature for the first time in decades, that messes everything up yeah. when it comes to dealing with issues today. Right, and I, we mentioned earlier, you know, I'm sure the governor is going to talk about the importance of bipartisanship, working together yes. to get these issues uh, pushed through, things that matter to Arizonans. But like you mentioned, in that context of this big national election, mm -hmm. do you think some of the Arizona priorities get lost in kind of what's at stake on the national level? Yeah. They will, unfortunately, but it's the, it's the nature of human beings. Yeah. It's the nature of self-governance. After all, these are 90 people out of the phone book, right. all doing their best. 60 people in the House, 30 in the Senate, one governor, trying to decide what's best for Arizona. Mm -hmm. I, and for the most part, I think we'll muddle through, meaning I don't think they'll do any damage. I think some good things will happen. I think they'll get a budget done. Mm -hmm. And um, there may even be a tax cut, depending on how you uh, look at that. That's it's exciting. But what the, the number one phenomenon in the environment is the partisanship and, and that rancor. Yeah. Because Democrats have been in the minority, they taste the majority. They can see it. Mm -hmm. And that, that, as I say, that uh, paralyzes things. And it makes cooperating very difficult because everyone's already running for office. Right. Well, we will certainly be talking a lot more coming up this next year, I'm sure. Stan Barnes, thank you so much for your you time. You bet. Thanks.